Do you want to know my plan? We're in Michael's now and I've already lost my mother. I don't know what she's doing. She's walking in circles. Grammy threw away her Christmas tree. I only buy things that speak to me. In her head, she has an idea, so we're going with her head. Oh my, I've got a noisy buggy. Okay, no I don't. We've lost Grammy. My mother, I keep losing her. She was right here. I have never seen a canning jar Christmas ornament. I'm gonna shut the camera off now. Are you done for real? I am. Let's go find my mother. Oh, look, a poinsettia you can't kill. Hi everybody, welcome back. We're going shopping today, me and Grammy. Got Grammy with me. Hi everybody, and we have a plan. We have a plan, we do. We're going to Michael's, and then, where are we going after that? Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and then Sam's Club. I remembered Michael's and Sam Club, Sam's Club. But we're gonna, we're spending the day out and about. We've got our masks, we've got our hand sanitizer, and we're gonna conquer the world today shopping. We are. We, we are. are. That's the plan. Do you wanna know my plan? Yeah. Well, Last year, we threw away our Christmas tree because we decided we should downsize the tree. So now I have no Christmas tree. I bought a little two-foot pre-lit tree. My goodness, is it little. So today, we're looking for maybe a three-foot pre-lit tree. That's my plan. Didn't know that. No, Did you it just, it? We threw it away, threw it out to the road, and it was gone in minutes. I, I had no idea she threw away her Christmas tree. News to me, Grammy threw away her Christmas tree. Well, it was, What were you thinking? Well, it was old and you had to... It was pre-lit, but it was very complicated pre-lit. So now they sell easy pre-lit. Okay, we're going for easy pre-lit. Easy pre-lit. <laughs> okay, well, if you ever wonder where I get my fuckiness from, well, it's kind of from my mom, kind of from my dad. Yeah, yeah. And her brain, she was thinking too, just like I do. Yes. Okay, well, let's go look at Christmas trees with Grammy because she threw hers away. <laughs> I did. I, okay. I shut the camera off and the conversation got funnier, so I just turned it right back on. But what was your plan? It, what, what were you thinking? She says, I was thinking. I was thinking I would just throw it away and it would be easy to find a well, my plan was to buy a QVC Bethlehem Lights pre-lit tree. The presentations for those trees are wonderful. She's a sucker for presentations, okay? It and doesn't matter what it is. And packaging. And pa oh, she's a sucker for packaging. Only the first time. <laughs> so anyway, I'm looking at these trees and they're so pretty. But they're like five, five foot, <sighs> seven foot. And then there goes my downsizing plan. So here we are looking today to find trees, little trees. <laughs> Why didn't you just buy a new house with a cathedral ceiling? Or <laughs> no, I, I just want to downsize. <sighs> we'll let this person go in front. I'm, I was laughing so hard I had tears and I'm like, why are you not saying all this stuff on the on camera? Because it's a little bit funny. In my brain I was thinking. Well, here it is November and I don't have a tree. so. <sighs> I have two of them in my attic. They're probably not what she wants, I'm sure. No, they're not. They're not. In fact, I think one of them is her old ones. It, it is. Yeah. <laughs> we pass things around in this family. All right, we're at Michael's, so let, let, let's follow Grammy around the store and look at these Christmas trees. Pre-lit, easy to move, carry She's downstairs, just like this. Okay. You want to, okay. Oh. She wants a Charlie Brown Christmas tree that's full and that's pretty. pretty and pre-lit. That's what, that's what we're... Easy to store. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to shut the camera off now. Are you done for real? I am. Okay. We are in Michael. Oh my. I've got a noisy buggy. Okay, no I don't. We're in Michael's now and I've already lost my mother. Grammy's, Grammy's gone. All I heard was, oh, here's these nutcrackers you like. I look down and she's gone. There she is. I've located my mother. Oh, but for real, I do like nutcrackers. I love nutcrackers. When I was driving a school bus, somebody had a huge life-size wooden nutcracker by their front door, and I just, I just fell in love with them. I don't have any nutcrackers yet at my house, but 
I may soon. I do for some reason like penguins. I don't know why. I saw a movie once, I don't remember what movie it was, where the penguin was sliding. Do you remember what movie that was? There was a penguin sliding down slides. Ever since then, I just, oh, I love penguins. They just make me laugh. So I have Christmas penguins. Oh, she, my mother, I keep losing her. She was right here. And here's our trees. Goodness. All their ornaments are 30% off. Hobby Lobby, let's go find my mother. I hear her, I do hear her. We used to go shopping when I was younger with my mother. My dad always said she needed a red flag on her, a red bike flag on her buggy because she's a, she's, she's, we won't call her short, but she's shorter. You need this in a three foot. You need that in a three foot? Something like this in a three foot. Okay. That's what she's looking for. But we had this. Oh, look at this. A pre-lit tree pencil for $49. I need a pencil tree. Well, our tree is about this size because you know our living room's not very big. But back to my story. We thought if she had a red bike, car, bike flag, you know, the big tall ones, we would be able to find her easier. I think that still applies. These are three. That's too little, Mom. It's, I'm going to put it on the windowsill. Oh, on the windowsill. Okay. That's not pre-lit. You can light that I easily. Plus it's ugly. Well, it is ugly. The next one's pretty ugly. Too. Why don't you just get a live one? You can just cut them. Go to a Christmas tree farm and tell them you want a live tree that's only little. I don't think it's pre-lit Well, no, it probably wouldn't be pre-lit then. But they have some cute ones here. It would be this size, but it's much, 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 much nicer. Okay. Well, oh, look, a poinsettia you can't kill. That's worth the money right there. Can't kill that one. Keep it every year. For $4.99, you can have a poinsettia that lives through Christmas. Now, whoa. Now we're looking for Christmas ornaments. Baby's first Christmas type of ornament for my new granddaughter. She needs a Christmas ornament. I found that one. That's the only one they have here. I think I'm going to get this one. Well, we bought something. Oh, and we got sidetracked by yarn. I crochet. I don't know if you guys know that. I'll put a picture in of the scarf that I made. I'm gonna make another one out of this because I have a green jacket, like army green. And if I put this scarf with it, has purples and greens and blues. I won't look like I'm in the army so much, I guess. But yeah, I'll put a picture of that right here. Grammy just found out that I, I showed her the scarf that I crocheted and she's like, oh, I need one. I'm like, okay, get yourself some yarn and we'll make you one. What color yarn did you get? Okay. Yeah, I showed her my yarn. She a new coat, this a silvery gray jacket. That'll look pretty. The purples look very, it looks really pretty on camera here. Does it? Yeah. Here, we're gonna show Granny, see? Oh, I picked a good one. Yeah, that looks nice. And I like the little bows. Yeah, it'll be nice. We're in Hobby Lobby now. Different store. Still Christmas. And the little Thanksgiving things. Normally, I buy Thanksgiving dinner plates and stuff here. I'll show you. This is going to be a haul through the store. There, I've got dessert plates, uh, tablecloth, and real napkins. We're doing real napkins this year. This year for Thanksgiving, because of the virus and all that's happening, just my parents are coming over. No kids, no kids for Thanksgiving. Not for dinner anyway. Crazy virus. Crazy, crazy virus, yeah. Normally what I do is we set up a table in the living room because we have no kitchen table and I'll decorate it cute. We found more ornaments to pick from. Oh look, they got red trucks. I love red trucks. I think these are all 50% off. How much is this? $4.99. Try not to touch stuff. I think our tree needs some different ornaments this year. Oh, look at that one. Rob would like that. Wonder how much that one is, let's see. 
Let me see. You might have to have this. I've never seen anything like this before. Have you? Let's see how much it is. 50% off and all. $6.99. $7. I think he needs that. I do. All right, Rob. There you go. Now you have another Christmas ornament. That is cute. I'm going to own that. I only buy things that speak to me. I don't know. Are you guys like that? Or you have to, I have to really like it to buy it. Like, I like that snowman a lot. That one's kind of cute also. $2.99. Okay, we'll own you. He is cute. For $2.99, with 50% off, it'll be $1.99. He's cute. Look at this canning jar. I have never seen a canning jar Christmas ornament. Hobby Lobby has them. Half price. They're regularly $4.99. How cute is that? Love it. I think that might be it. It's an accent tree, so it's not a real, real tree. Yeah, she doesn't want a tree that you can have to hang ornaments off of. She just wants some sort of tree to... You go with my little fat tip litter. I have a vision in my head of what this windowsill is going to look like. See, she has visions in her head, too. Well, it's probably going to be very pretty. It doesn't always work out, but I think this will. Right. We can take a picture of it when we're all done. Okay, when we're all done, we'll, we'll, I'll just film it. But other than that, I found these ornaments. The globe... I just love globes. For some reason, I love globes. It, look at this little cute little pig. I, I love the pig. I love it. And then I got a deer, and there's a Christmas tree behind that. They're all, it's not attached, but how cute. I love that little pig. Something else they have, instead of tree skirts, you can get these tree collars now. I don't know if you guys knew that. They're kind of the in thing now. I located the perfect ornament for us. This is the only way we will have chickens or roosters on the Christmas tree. He may stay out all year though. For $1.99, yeah. He may stay out all year long. I also collect these trees with the lights. Down here, there's some bigger ones. I had one that my mom made from a long time ago. I don't know where it is. I think we lost it in a move somewhere. But I've been buying them at garage sales really cheap. The Christmas tree I lost in the movie. But I've been buying them at garage sales really cheap. And my daughter's been finding them also for me. If you look on eBay or something to find the old, old ones, they go for $50 to $75 now. So if you saved your mom's tree, you, you've got a gold mine there. They got the nutcrackers here. Wow. I don't know why I like them so much. All right, I'm going to go check out these nutcrackers. Right. We've lost Grammy. We're on the search out for Grammy here. But, oh, oh, wait a minute. I found a pig. Look how cute these pigs are. Because who doesn't need that pig in their life, right? Yeah, that is so cute. I guess I'm in the farmhouse section. Look at that. There's a big old rooster down there. But that's not what we're looking at. Nope, we're not looking at that. Nope, 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 nope. Not looking at that either. We're looking for Grammy. Not looking at that either. We're looking for Grammy. I need to get out of this row. I do. Oh, we found Grammy, and Grammy has trees in her buggy. Oh, look at you go. I like the gold one. Which one do you like? So I think it's Look at that. Where are we going to put this tree? Next to the other tree? Maybe at the other end to balance it. Okay. In her head, she has an idea, so we're going with her this head. This too big. <laughs> Although it is really cute. It's for a bow window. It's for the bow window. They have like a bow bay window that sticks out. Where'd she go? It's a bow. Not a bay, it's a bow. She's. I don't know what she's doing. She's walking in circles. We found more of these trees. That's what she's doing. Probably be bringing it back. Maybe not, because that is so. That is really pretty. It'll go. It's the shape of the other one. It leaks. Glitter, yeah. I like it. I do like it. All those lighted tree tops make for Okay, gotcha. Okay, Grammy found two trees, not just one, two. We're on a roll. 
Well, we're not done shopping yet, but we've left the um, Hobby Lobby. $102.93 later. Yeah, $102.93 later. That, my mother, not me. We, we've left, we've left Hobby Lobby. And then uh, we got to the parking lot and there's this poor woman that's standing by her car, an elderly woman that had Alzheimer's or dementia and she was very confused. So we stayed with her until her, her daughter came. Her daughter came and said, I was only in there for five minutes. And like, that's okay, we understand. My, my grandmother had Alzheimer's. So we do understand and the poor lady, she just said, can you please just stay with me until she gets back? Absolutely, we could stay with you until whoever comes is coming back. So we can, so we did. Which brought back memories, my mom and I just said. Brought back a lot of memories. And I'm in this parking lot now and I don't know which way to go. Well, we're closer to Wendy's. Well, that's where I was going. We're going to Wendy's, but I just, the parking lot out, the parking, the driving situation out it's, here is it's nuts. It's a maze. We're on, we're on a little maze. I'm gonna go left to go right, so I don't have to go left there. We're, but we're in a maze right now. If you could see an overshot view of this, you would understand. I probably could go through this parking lot to get to there, huh? We're gonna make it. We will make it to Wendy's eventually. We could do a mukbang in the car, Mom. No. <laughs> Is that a hard no? That's a hard no. That's a hard no for my mom. No mukbang in the car for you. Sorry. All right. We're gonna go to Wendy's and then we have one more stop, which is Sands Club. We'll be back. And this car is, she has a newer car, and I don't know if you know about cars that shut off. When you hit the brake and you sit here, the car shuts off. And then when you take your foot off the brake, the car turns back on. At times that drives me nuts. Extremely but annoying. It's very annoying. It's extremely very annoying. When you're, especially when you're not used to this. All right, we've made it to Wendy's. We talked the whole way. Excuse me, I probably talked the whole way here. But we're here now. Sam's Club. We've made it to Sam's Club. They've sort of, they've changed things around in here. The aisles go a different way. But so far, I'll show you what I got. A gingerbread house. My granddaughter's birthday is this week, and normally I get her a gingerbread house for her birthday, and they decorate it all together. We're also going to Kalahari, which is a water park resort, over the weekend for her birthday, so that should be fun. Well, didn't film much in Sam's Club. I've been too busy trying to push this daggone buggy. It's a little heavy for me, and I really, I, well, I put water in there. Right now, I'm looking for a snack of some sort to take with us to Kalahari. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Something that will like melt in my mouth. Cheese balls, cheese balls for days. I'm trying to push the darn buggy, which isn't that heavy, but when you can't breathe and, and all the things, in this mask, which is okay, I'm not complaining. But with my back, I'll show you my buggy. I put water in it. I put water in it right there, which is probably the wrong spot to put the water, but I did. All right, let's get some of this. Probably like this. We could take this to the room also. Well, the car is loaded. It, it's yes. loaded. We've got beverages here in the front. I shall show you. Beverages. I have a coffee in my door also. Yeah, I do. And then we've got all the food in the back. It ended up great. We're not smashing the new Christmas tree. That's all. No. Either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Went for one tree and we got two. Do you have anything bright and brilliant to say? I, I do not. <laughs> we are tired. We are now tired. It was a fun day. Yes, fun we afternoon. Had. We did have a fun afternoon. Oh, I'll tell you this. Every time I tried to film in Sam's Club, it kept saying connect to their Wi-Fi and I would hit connect and it would just end the video. So I don't know what kind of footage I got in Sam's Club. 
but most of you know what Sam's Club is like. It's food and, and fun stuff. Nice packaged cookies there in Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. You can have a really long expiration date. They, they can't be. Uh, I don't know what they they can't, in them. I know they can't be good for you, so we bought them. Yes. Well, my mom bought them, but I'm sure that I'll eat some of them. They're probably going to be good coffee dippers. That's what I think, and I probably should have put them in the front seat. Oh, yeah. We have coffee. We could have been eating cookies on the way home. You want me to pull over? <laughs> I don't think so. All right. I will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.